Hurling is Ireland's national game and is believed to be the oldest field game in the world. It is also one of the most spectacular. It can be traced back to Celtic times and features in Irish folklore to illustrate the deeds of many heroic and mystical figures. Hurling is played with a hurley stick, made of ash and ranging in length from 26 to 36 inches. The bottom or boss of the hurley may have a band of tin around it for strengthening purposes. Hurling ball or schlitter consists of a standard core encased in a leather cover. An adult schlitter has a diameter of between 69 and 72 millimetres and weighs approximately 115 grams. All players must wear a helmet with a face guard which helps to prevent facial and head injuries. Hurling is unique because of its very wide range of skills. Many of the skills that are required to successfully participate in games are presented here. The skills are divided into five categories. Skills to gain possession, to maintain possession, to release possession, and skills to contest possession, as well as a mix of other skills that we have termed extra skills. The skills to gain possession of the ball in hurling are illustrated here. Each individual skill involves great dexterity and hand-eye coordination. The ground stop. The chest catch. Roll lift. The overhead catch. The jab lift. The overhead block. And control. Having gained possession, the next challenge is to maintain it, utilising the following skills. The ground dribble and the solo run. Now it's time to release possession and this can be done in the following ways. The ground strike Strike from the hand. The running ground strike. Doubling. The overhead strike. And the hand pass. There are various means of contesting possession in hurling. The clash. hook, the bat, the ground block, the frontal block, ground or air flick. There are also extra specialist skills used in hurling. The correct grip, the puck out or restart, the sideline puck, Free puck, the pass.
penalty puck. And goalkeeping. <laughs>